Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, May the 13th of 2020. Hmm. Let's count to 13 since today's the 13th. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You want to keep on going? Well, I tell you what, it would be great for you to practice counting on with your family. Be sure to do that a couple times today. Well, today's lesson is a phonemic awareness, that sound lesson that we do. So what we're going to do, and you can turn it into a game, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, is I'm going to say three sounds. We're going to blend them sounds, writing them down, and then you get to guess what the word is. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. My first three sounds. <sighs> ah, t, the letters. <sighs> ah, t. Let's do it. <sighs> ah. Hat. Hat. Something you wear on your head. A hat. Great job. Let's see. Oh, this one's something I need all the time in the afternoons. Ready? Let's make those sounds. N a You got it. My age, I need a nap. At your age, you probably need a nap in the afternoon, too, because, you know, we were taking those naps at school. I wonder if you're taking them at home. Let's see. Let's go to the farm for a minute. You ready? Let's say... I -g -p I G, P pig, 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 oink, oink, right? See, pig, good job. Let's see. Uh, how about, we don't need this right now, but it's good that we have them in the winter. Let's see what we're talking about. K, O, T. Oh, hmm, k, oat, hmm, yeah, a coat. Now let me tell you a secret about this. That's not the way it's really spelled, but we spelled it by what we hear. And that's okay, especially right now. But I'm going to go right beside it and I'm going to write this, the correct spelling so when you get a little older, you'll see how those vowels work together to change sounds, okay? Ready? K. O. T. The rule is the first vowel does the walking, the talking, the second vowel does the walking. That's right. So there's the correct spelling. Although phonemic, we could spell it like that, okay? Good job. Let's see. It's been raining a lot outside, hadn't it? Yeah. So I bet we have a lot of this. Let's think about it. Mmm. Uh. D. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. D. Mud. Mud. Did you get to go play in the mud? I like to play in the mud. Just make sure you clean off before you go in the house and ask permission first. Mud. One more and then we're going to be done. Okay? Ready? Let's do a yummy treat. Okay, ready? Especially at the holidays, I like this treat. P I. P I. I, I, it said its own name, didn't it? I, 
Okay, now phonetically, that's how we would say it, right? Pi. But once again, we're going to show you the other way. I pi. That E is silent, and he comes over and he kicks the I and he goes, makes him say his own name. I. So every time you see the E at the end of the word, look back for that vowel and see if that makes it say its own name. Good job. Okay, so number one, you could do stretchy the word snake. Number two, this is what I want you to do. I want you and somebody in your family to go around the house and kind of do a guessing game. So they can say those sounds really slow. They can, I spy, okay? So I spy a d a o. So they say those sounds and then you find it and tell them what it is. Doesn't that sound like a fun game? What was that one? See, especially anybody that has girls in the house. D all find at least three things that you can do in the house because there's all kinds of things. So you could literally play what am I or I spy with that one. I spy a d all doll. That sounds cute, huh? A lot of fun. So you try that, three words, and maybe y'all can message me back and tell me what are the three words that y'all did the I Spy game with, okay? All right. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do some math.